in Nebraska, where my grandfather, in 1916, brought two sons to Monroe to look at this property of Bill Haven Plantation, which was available. One of the sons, Uncle Will, said it's too hot in Louisiana, so I'm not going to stay down here. But my father stayed here and he grew cotton, corn, cattle, soybeans, and harvested the crop for years. Then I took over in 1950 and grew some of the same crops and made some of the other good years and bad years. One of the good years was when General Motors came to Monroe. I'm glad to sell that fast to the General Motors. That was a good crop. That was a good crop. crop. But we're delighted to have all of you here today. Delighted to have you have the opportunity to share a few moments with us. I promise to cut my presentation short. I think that whatever my family deems, because it's their turn now. I've grown the cotton and the corn and the soybeans. It's their turn now to do what they deem best for the plantation. So thank you for being here. One other, one other statement. <laughs> well, I just want to say that, you know, uh, in, in heart, I'm still a farmer or an agriculturalist, no matter what happens. Thank you. <laughs>
one of the things we try to do is mitigate the traffic issue coming out of the high school. We all understand there's a lot of traffic that comes out of that high school. The best way to do that, we felt, would be one day to create a buffer zone of about 70 feet. That buffer zone would have an ingress, egress on the north and south end of the property. You do that, you don't have the congestion of property in front of the high school. You would also have possible lots that could be anywhere from 20 to 60 acres in size. There's a mile of railroad on this property. You can have spurs coming up that would allow trains. You're, you're dealing with a dual access railroad right here. There's so many possibilities. There's also a possibility for up north possibly having a small retail establishment. Like I said, this is nothing but a conceptual design, and we'll see where it goes from here. And when I close, I want to tell you this is actually the second land dedication on this piece of property. My good friend, Dr. Mike Walker, and I, I knew eight years ago the Lord was telling me to come out and pray over this property. I, I asked Mike one day, I said, Mike, will you come out here with me if you don't mind? Mike and I came out, and we went to every corner of this property, and we prayed over it. And then when we got through, Mike said, take me back to the central part of the property. So I took him back, and we went right over the canal ditch to the east. And when I turned around and looked, we were right dead in front of the Washtenaw High School double doors right there. And Mike pulled out of his pocket two rocks. He said, I want to give one of these rocks to you. These rocks are from Israel, and that's from fertile soil. He said, I want you to take the other rock, and I want you to plant it in the side of this canal ditch. Then he said, I want you to give me two rocks on this property so when I go back and do mission work in Israel, I want one of the rocks to go back and put it in a tree in Israel. And he's actually shown me the photo of where he put that rock because he said, this is part of ground here. And when he closed, I remember very clearly his prayer was, I pray that one day this property will allow multiple jobs to come to this region. And that's what we're praying, just like John said a minute ago. We pray that one day this whole area and the synergy that is happening in this area will benefit not only North Louisiana, but this whole state. Because we understand when you drive industry in here, what happens to the multiplier factor? They go up and the dollars come in, and that's what we need. We appreciate every one of y'all here, all of y'all. It's a team effort. Thank you very much.